Hi and welcome to another episode. It's not really going to be a big box Amiga thingy, but in a way it is and in a way it isn't. You'll understand in a moment. So let's start off with Lemmings. Now this particular copy was given to me by Pete from On A Retro Tip. Really nice guy. I met him for the first time at the Play Expo in Blackpool last October. Handed me this. I've already sort of talked about this in a previous episode, as I say. So from there, though, you'll know that I can't turn it over because someone wrote their name and address on the back or someone's name and address is on the back they're sort of dented into the cardboard and I don't want to embarrass whoever that is but as you will know though that there's photos on the back from in game but plenty of people know what lemmings look like these days so let's have a look what's actually inside the box so it's a sleeve and on the side it says Amiga 512k required Let's slide this sleeve out of the way and then I'll have a look inside the box and what do we have? We have a couple of floppies and then we have just the manual. It's a nice big manual, very easy to read, different languages and it tells you how to play the game with the different icons and what does what and it even talks about the PC version so you can press the F buttons on there, or the F keys. And it tells you some points to note, which I've never read before. <laughs> um, so there we go, that's what's inside here. Of course it talks about the Amiga and ST for the mouse controls. Loading instructions, watch out for viruses. But of course this by them is not going to have any viruses on it because they make doubly sure they're not going to give you a virus. So yeah, so it had the, the cast, the English, French and German and Italian instructions. So a nice little, well, it's not that little, I mean it's a man's hand sort of size, but anything hiding under this bit? No, that's empty as well, which we fully expect, but just in case. Now, the thing is, is because Pete handed me this, it sort of, unknowingly at first, and I bet he didn't realise it, oh, I forgot on the discs, haven't I? They didn't, that he didn't realise that it would send me on a spiral. Now, an upward spiral or a downward spiral, I'm not too sure, but I suddenly decided, well, like Pokemon, you've got to get them all. So, I decided, okay, there's, the Amiga version of Lemmings, which everyone's played. But then I wanted, oh, no more Lemmings. Now, with this, it's the standalone version, as you can see, nice big letters there. But there was a version as well that it was just an add-on disc to the original one. So that's kind of an interesting thing between the two of them, that if you didn't have the original one, you could pay just a little bit less. Because it even says it here, also available on a data disc requiring original Lemmings disc. For twenty pounds, or nineteen ninety nine, instead of the twenty five ninety nine, so six pound difference. But it meant that if you already had the initial games, it wasn't like you were going to be getting charged full uh, full prices. But at the same time, it is sort of very close. But of course, they have to charge so much they make profit back on sending out floppies and cardboard boxes and manuals. So it makes sense. But it it was a nice idea. I, I can't remember. Other games that did that at this time period, I know that PC games did that an awful lot later, but I can't really remember any Amiga games that did, that they offered um, an update disc and a standalone version, that's what I'm talking about. I know there were some games that had an update disc, but a standalone version for the update discs, if that makes any sense at all. But this gives you a whole hundred new levels to start playing. It too only needs an Amiga 5. Uh, with 512k. This is to be sold in Europe, Australasia, and it's the PAL version of the game. This one, because it doesn't have any writing on the back, we can have a look at the back of different pictures. And of course, it's just a hundred more levels to play to pull your hair out and wonder why you're even bothering. But, oh, the one thing I forgot to mention from the initial game. The initial game came out in 1991. 
and this one also came out in 99 as one as well so that's a interesting that they had so many levels i wonder if they were thinking of maybe pushing it all into one big game and then thought wait a minute we can sell it twice who knows maybe that's the idea of it but i like that there is a chance of um if you've not bought the first one you might think well i'll skip that one i'll just go straight on to this with this uh, directly bootable one again it's the same idea as last time there's a sleeve and then a normal box and this one's got a registration card inside so they want to know where did you buy it, who you are, how old you are and everything like that and this came on one floppy and that's kind of interesting because the first one came on two floppies and yet this is bootable so I don't maybe they had a better compression and got it all on this one or something oh there's a piece of paper here I shall get rid of that because I don't want someone being embarrassed of what that is. So again though, it's different languages telling you how to play and what you know what does what. And basically it's not much different than the first one because after all, playing the actual game is no different than the original. You just um click the icons and hope that you've figured it out and timed things perfectly. I really do enjoy playing Lemmings uh, myself. I remember when it first came out, I was lucky enough to be one of the first few people to play the first sort of um, retail demos, let's put it that way, because I was working in the computer shop oh so many years ago. strange noise. But let's put the manual back in there and the registration card of course. And then as we all know there was Lemmings again. So we moved on to Lemmings 2, the tribes which as you can see there's lots of different types of surface Scots, clowns, cavemen, spacemen, all that sort of thing make things a lot more difficult for you because you had to learn different skills, different icons made you do different skills and you had to learn them all and a lot more difficult than the original game. You need one megabyte of memory now for the Amiga. Some screenshots along the sides just in case, in fact it's the same screenshots on both sides but if you know if the game was on a shelf like that you'd at least get to see to uh, maybe pull it out and have a good look at it properly. It says it's a sensational sequel to the most talked about computer game in the entire history of the world. Uh, not too sure about that, but who knows. Box images represent character skills within the game. So, there we go. But as you can see, there's this sort of big medallion type thing and different sections took you off to different places. With this box, it had the, the flap, and it slides out, and then it gives you this recyclable box, or biodegradable box, which is all good in intentions, but when you do that, and then you open it up, and then there's yet more cardboard, it's like, well, why waste cardboard? And I know, it sounds like I'm whinging, but I do wonder what the, the thought pattern was behind all of that, because you've got a glossy box and you've got a recycle box and then you've got this which you could have turned this into a box quite frankly and just sold it like that directly but um, who knows it's a step in the right direction of having using recyclable cardboard by all means but um, who knows but anyway back to the game three floppies pushing the idea that you need a megabyte and as you, you can see the game came out in 1993 so it's been a couple of years since the first two, which is kind of strange because this is Lemmings 2, but the other, well, I suppose Oh No is like Lemmings 1.5, or 1 and a bit. Here's the very big manual, which is more of a leaflet than a book. It explains how to install it on the DOS, Amiga and ST, the different versions of the discs, obviously. Shows you the front screen, shows you some of the icons. Now some of them though you could pause it, the game, 
and you could use a fan to blow some of the, the lemmings around depending on what they were doing. You could nuke them of course which is always fun and you could fast forward which was nice because when you got your little lemmings going along all in a line on the original games you had to wait for them to for the last one to get its backside into the the escape bit or the exit whereas with this if you had got it all sorted out and everything like that and you're just waiting for them to walk along you could press the fast forward button and they would zoom into there a lot quicker and it would Basically, it meant you could not get bored watching the lemmings just trot along or walk along. On the back, it shows you the wind skills, the ground removing skills, the building skills, the shooting skills, <laughs> movement skills, and misc skills, and some of the credits for the game, <laughs> for the people that made the game. But as you can see, all these different icons are different things you've got to learn how to use. So it's a lot more difficult to play than the original game because you have to try to remember how these actually work when you get through to them and of course when you play it for the very first time you have to learn exactly the timings of what they do how many blocks they're going to make for like a straight up thing sort of like from the original when you had to sort of figure out how many steps they were going to have to make when they're making their little ladder steps thing it's the same with this you have to figure out how many they're going to make for the stim on how far they can shoot arrows, how far they can throw stuff and everything like that. So it's quite entailed this one, but yet it is sort of point and click and you suck it and see as they were of what they're going to do. And there's the map that I was talking about of the different areas and basically what happens is that you um, select which one you want to do and start playing that one. And as far as I remember from it, you start off and you have to sort of unlock and get you, yourself around. So let's slide that back in there. I like these spend pencil sketches type things of lemmings here. I'm gonna spit my words out then. And then we have this, which is the story of the 12 tribes of the Lemmings Island. And all the day Jimmy McLemming wished he'd stayed in bed. But starting from the front, I'm not going to show you the whole book, obviously, because I don't want to get done for copyright, but so there's a little story for you to read before you start going. It's got little drawings of lemmings and things of where you go. So that's something to read. So let's slide that back in there. There's a little, I think there's a little... I guess there's a little tab there to stop the book from sliding around so much. Oh, and of course it would help if I folded it the right way around anyway. So let's get that all back in the box. So we move on to All New World of Lemmings. This is for the Amiga 1200 and you need one megabyte. Of, or equivalent machine of course on the back it's got some pictures of in-game play these are PC screenshots but I can't see them being much different for the Amiga because I'm assuming this is 256 colors on Super VGA so obviously the resolution is a bit different but the color depth will be the same so you get a good idea a little bit in English repeated again in other languages it's got 90 levels, basically what it's showing off about. Let's open up the flap. Oh, that's an interesting sound. And we have a recyclable box again. Nothing too fancy inside. Registration card. How many floppies do we have? We have one, two, three, four floppies. And then we have a manual. And then we have a bit of paper that says many times over in different languages the addendum basically is talking about the Amiga and you can save to a hard drive they don't seem to have mentioned that in the manual itself they seem to have forgotten to say that so what do we have we have how to install the Amiga PC and PC CD-ROM that there's creatures and lemmings and play area and skills and foreground it doesn't seem to be a fan this time around, but there is the fast forward at least. So when you've got them all going the right direction, you can just 
make them go faster. You can load and save. Yep, it does mention Super VGA if you're using the PC. So yeah, lots of shortcuts you see from the main arc screen using the mouse to select one of the three lemmings will take you directly to the game without getting a progress screen or having to select an island. Oh, that's interesting to know. Always nice that there's shortcuts just to get on with playing the game. Story so far, so blah 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 blah, I'll not ruin the storyline for you. What do we have? A bit more storyline. And then onto the controls. Different key presses you can do. The mouse, obviously. And then it tells you how to play. And how to save and how to replay. And if you die. Some skills. So go back to the basics of walk, block, jump and use. You got yeah, you can pick up and drop things. Your timer. Oh, so that's what that circular bit is. You can fast forward, you can pause. And you can nuke them. So and it says if you're a bit familiar with Lemmings 2, you get the idea. So, and then we move on to tools. Oh, so there's bombs, grenades, suckers, shimmers, hadoukens. So they're nicking ideas from Street Fighter 2. Spades, a bag of bricks, a swimmer, an umbrella, and a clock. And then it talks about the creatures. Interesting to know what you actually are supposed to do with the creatures. It says a bit about them, and then the credits, and then what your warranty is with the, the makers. So that's an interesting little way that they went to so fantasy for number two with all the little fold out bits and a book and everything like that. And then they go, eh, let's just give them floppies this time in the manual. Now, let's get this back into the box. And you might think we're finished, but we're not. This is a longer video this time around. So uh, fade away and fade in. Yes, you've spotted it. PC, CD, enclosed. It's no longer Amiga. And we've got a nice big label here. And it says games for, and we have the original Lemmings, Christmas Lemmings of 94, all new Lemmings, and Lemmings 2, The Tribes. I think they should maybe had that before that one, but eh. But anyway, the point is, is that this is the PC CD-ROM version. There'll be no difference in gameplay than the uh, original Amiga version, especially if you've got a decent sound card, which not everyone would have had um, back then, but uh, some people have still been supporting just the PC speaker. But of course, if you've got Adlib, Sound Blaster, so on and so forth, it should have been fine. And again, we've got the funny noise and the recyclable box. This time it's a bit heavier because we've got CDs. Now, I don't know how the CDs initially arrived. For me, the CDs were in some plastic cases and the plastic cases were broke. And I didn't like the look of that. And so I bought some envelopes because it seemed like a nicer way of doing it because I believe that's probably what was in here in the first place but I could be completely incorrect and I probably am but anyway so we have the CD just for the Lemmings and Lemmings 2 and then we have a CD for the all new world of Lemmings and we have Christmas Lemmings 93 stroke 94 now for the Amiga, I cannot find this game at all for the Amiga as a full-blown game. There's some demos, there was like official retail demos and um, some of the cover discs for the Amiga on different magazines had uh, the demos of this Christmas thing, but as a full-blown retail thing, I cannot find it for the Amiga. If it is out there, please let me know um, because I'll, you know, I'll, keep, I'll uh, have a look around and try to buy it, but... I believe on the Amiga it only ever came out as a demo because let's be honest, the time the Amiga was getting on a bit by this age. And then we also have Lemmings Revolution, which is kicking around in this box. And I don't know why it is, but it is. Because it's not mentioned on the retail thing, but I received it. Um, which is nice because it's yet another version of the Amiga. Games of uh, sorry, Amiga games, 
a Lemmings Games revolution. Now, when I ordered all of this, you'll see where things have gone a little bit crazy. Now, let's have take these out of the way. And obviously one of these CDs must have the Oh No Lemmings as well. So let's see if it mentions it. No, it doesn't mention it. But all I can assume is that the Oh No Lemmings is on this CD as well because I haven't actually stuck these into my computer. I do have a media drive in my PC, even in this day and age. Let's balance that there. And of course, there's the manual that we've just looked at for the Amiga version. And then instructions to install from the CD. And then this explains to you how to save the game. So there's even bits that they've missed out for the original manual that they're stuck in there. And then what have we got here? There's the manual for Lemmings 2, which we've looked at already. And then we've got a manual for Lemmings, Christmas Lemmings, with amendments in them as well. So let's have a look at this one, because this is a new manual. Lots of different languages. And it talks about how to install it on the Macintosh. The Amiga version, so there is an Amiga version. Or at least they say there is. Now, that means I'm gonna to have to keep an eye out. Who knows, maybe they were going to bring it out for the Amiga, but never actually did. But as I say, I cannot find a retail version of uh, Christmas Lemmings or Xmas Lemmings or Holidays Lemmings, because they seem to have changed the name a few times as it came out, depending on maybe where in the world it was getting brought out, or maybe different versions. But as I say, I cannot find a true full retail version of Christmas Lemmings for the Amiga. But now they do mention the Macintosh. And then we've got the original Lemmings manual, which is just the same as what we saw before as well. So let's put all these manuals back in here. It doesn't seem to be a manual for the revolution, but I don't think we're supposed to get that game anyway. Where is it hiding? So I'll put that at the bottom. Let's close this up. So that's that one closed up. I went on to buy Xmas Lemmings, also known as Christmas Lemmings, or Holidays Lemmings, as I said before from the big box. Um, why they keep changing the name of it, I'm not too sure. I can guess, but I'm not 100% sure. This is unopened. This came out in 1994. So I have to guess that the big box version with all the games in there must have come out after 94. So that, you know, it, it could have a possibility of having all, all the games in there. I haven't opened this yet. Now, if people want me to open this, I will do, but you're going to have to request it. And basically, to request it, I need five people to at least say they want it to be opened. And then, of course, because I had got that one of the Christmas Lemmings, I decided, well, let's get the other ones in their DVD type cases as well. So, this is Windows Lemmings, or for, Lemmings for Windows rather, and it has the original Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings, all in one. So on the back it's got screenshots, mentions that on disc is the manual. So let's have a look inside. This came out in 1995, so a year, this actually came out a year after the Christmas Lemmings. Because, of course, the PC had to catch up with the versions that had already come out in Amiga many years before. So, this is all you get inside here, because as it says, the manual is on the disc. So, it's just a good old normal disc, or CD. So, green background. So, I went on to buy Lemmings Paintball. This came out 
in what year did this come out? Uh, we 1996. And as you can guess, it's paintball. And I seem to remember around that time, paintballing became a very fashionable thing to do. So you can run around in the woods, get wet and soggy and walk, go home with welts. If you're into that sort of thing, that's fine. I've never actually had a chance of going and I'm not too sure I'd want to these days anyway. But Lemmings Paintball never actually played the game. So I'm not too sure what it looks like because the screenshots are so small. But um, all I can imagine is that the game doesn't play the same way as the first lot of games did. And then we went a bit silly still and bought Lemmings Revolution. Now I sent off to buy this not knowing well the big box was in the post that Revolution was going to be coming in it anyway because it wasn't supposed to. This is just a cardboard box and it came out, it doesn't actually say on the back here or if it does I can't see it behind this sticker. So let's take it out. So we've got the CD case. Now it's interesting to me that there was a CD case but they put a cardboard box around it and I wonder if they did that to make it different from audio CDs, um, you know, to make it feel like you're getting a bit more for your money. Anyway, we're trying to find out what year it came out, 2001, so 19 years ago, whoa. Some screenshots now, and this game did not come out on the Amiga, I know it didn't, this version. And I, as far as I remember as well is that the Lemmings Paintball did not come out on the Amiga. So we've got another CD and we've got an inlay this time, but look, this CD is nice and white background and everything like that. A lot more interesting than the one that was in that big box. It just sort of like a, just left to the silver with some black printing over top of it. And basically it just explains how to install. But already they have supplied an update to the game on the CD itself, which I find funny. Because to me, why? You know you're going to be putting an update on the CD, so why not just burn the CD with the update already in the game? That would make an awful lot more sense to me. But I guess it must have been last minute things and they're trying to push it out at a certain time date and it was just easier to stick the extra update on the disc. But why? Who knows? Now, just... I leave that there just so you got some remembrance, because they brought it out again. Because this one came out in, well, there's a tiny little writing that says it. Where is it now? 2004. So three years later, they brought it out again. Not looking like this, but like this. So the DVD case. Now there's no mention of if there an update. There's no manual, so all I can assume is that the manual is on the disc, but its disc is different yet again. Now I do notice that the first time around it came out by uh, Global Star software, and this time it's by Dice Multimedia. So who knows? I've seen people selling this as being the US version. I bought it here in the UK but I have seen that this is maybe the American version why there's differences between all three discs I'm not too sure but all I can guess is that it is because of the years and they're trying to make things look a bit different and new and get people to buy it again anyway or buy it for the first time but you know what I mean not to get oh, I've seen that on the shelf three years ago why am I still being charged the same price now well, that's me finished with the Lemmings games I'm not too sure there's any more Lemmings games out there. If there is other versions, if there's more versions for the Amiga, then let me know. I'm not too interested about getting the box version for, say, the ST or the Macintosh. I don't really collect games for them. But if there is other Lemmings games for the PC or the Amiga, as I say, please let me know. It'd be interesting to try to get hold of them. I really appreciate... For the people that have sat and watched all of this, I hope it's been interesting to you. If you know of more games that came out under the Lemmings titles, 
for the Amiga or the PC, please let me know. I'd be interested to get my hands on them. But as always, happy gaming. Thank you.